You head to the floor though? Yeah, me too. <laughs> I figured you were probably headed to Florida because we're on this plane to Florida. So I figured that's probably where you were trying to head to. Why are you headed to Florida? Business. Wow. That's so cool. That must be really cool and kind of elite, right? Pretty elite to do that. Not everybody can do that. So that's kind of elite. If you think about it, I'm headed to Florida to see my dad. And you're probably thinking, why doesn't your dad live in your house? <laughs> um, and it's because my parents, my mom and my dad are divorced. They bring out the worst in each other, you know, so they got divorced. It was a long time ago, though, you know, I'm seven years old. Um, and my name is Quinn, by the way. What's your name? Okay, cool. And what was I talking about? I'm seven years old. My name Oh yeah, my parents got divorced when I was only three. <laughs> so that was forever ago. That was forever ago. Yeah. My mom said I have to talk too much on this flight because it's a nighttime flight. People are trying to sleep on a nighttime flight, but you know, she understands. I'm not gonna be quiet on the whole flight. It's a long flight from North Carolina all the way to Florida. She doesn't let me bring um, the iPad. <laughs> My the iPad stays at the house because it's a very valuable piece of equipment, and it's also worth a fortune. So, if I were to bring the iPad on this plane, and then some guy were to come on the plane and he were to say, "Hey, everybody, bring out your iPads. I'm gonna take them." And you know, I can't fight back. I'm only a kid. I'm not gonna fight a giant guy. Um, and then if that happened and he took my iPad, that thing's worth a fortune. So I'm not allowed to bring it. So that's why I just got, you know, I've got this slug. It's for my hands. I have ADHD. But you don't have to have ADHD to have a slug. If you want one, you should buy one. They're on the internet. You can buy them on the internet. Do you have ADHD? Cool. I'm not even that excited to go home right now, actually. <laughs> to go, not to my house, because it's not my house, it's not my house, it's the condominium situation. Have you ever been to a condominium situation? So condominium situation is like, it's a living place where like, there's a bunch of little buildings and there's also like, I don't know, guy lives there that like cleans up um, around the pool if the condominium situation has a pool. Most condominium situations have pool if, pools if they're in Florida. Um, and the guy cleans the pool. The guy at my um, dad's condominium situation that cleans the pool's name's Derek. He's okay. But anyways, so my dad lives there, but for a little while he was living in the house. Because he had this beautiful finance, Monique. I loved Monique so much. I still love her. We still talk on the phone. <laughs> my dad, I don't even know if he knows that me and Monique still talk, but the thing is that my dad, the reason that Monique broke up with him is because he couldn't keep his paws to himself. And that means... Exactly, but I think it means something to do with kissing and not kissing Monique, kissing other people that aren't Monique. And he's not allowed to do that if he's her fiance. So, <sighs> but Monique and my mom are being friends a little bit now. You know, now that um, what are they doing? My mom said the words. <sighs> Comes are hating. Co miss co mister hating something like that co mister hating I think they're co mister hating together um, because they both dated my dad and my dad is I guess not the coolest guy he's not that bad though like you would probably like him if you met him he would be okay he smokes a lot of cigarettes um but that's okay I guess everybody has their things that they do.
Are you hungry? I'm kind of hungry. I brought Triscuits. But I also brought this cheese. Um, I don't think my mom knows that I brought this cheese from home. But these Triscuits really, like, they, they really aren't that good. Well, they're actually the best kind of cracker dough, so they are really good without the cheese, but the cheese just kind of sends it over, you know? Why shouldn't I? I shouldn't eat it for too long. Because it'll get bacteria. I'll hurt my tummy. That's a good thought, I think. That's a good point you bring up. But I don't think cheese does that, actually. Not this cheese, because... Sometimes I take this cheese in my lunchbox. And it's in my lunchbox all day at school, and I don't get sick. So I think I'm okay. to just take the coca-colas but <sighs> my mom was kind of out of it today so she's gonna miss me so much because i'm gonna be at my bed house for a whole week That's so cool. I don't want to do business though because when I grow up at least, I want to do business because I don't really want to wear um, clothes that are kind of ugly like that every day. No defense or anything. I'm not saying that your clothes are ugly. It's not ugly clothes. It's just like the business clothes you see on TV where it's like everything is all gray and everything has black and white. I like things with colors on them so I don't know if I'm going to be a good business person. Sometimes I think I want to be maybe like um, a, um, a, de a detective scientist that figures things out that are like science, but they're also kind of detective stuff, but I don't even know. Because if you've got to go to college, right now I'm thinking, I don't really want to go to college just because like from what I hear about everything that I'm hearing about. Um, that's more school. That's like school. That's another school that you go to. So you graduate all of the years of school. There's 12 years of school. My finger and my burp. Burp. Excuse me. I'm a little embarrassed that I burp so loud because I don't even know you. But never mind about it, right? Because it's already over. That's kind of what happens when I have Coca-Cola, by the way. What are we talking about? Hmm. 
up. What do I want to be when I grow up is what you were asking me. Maybe... I know superheroes aren't a real thing, so I don't want to be exactly like a, a fake superhero or anything, but like, if superheroes became a thing, I wouldn't mind if I had the powers of... Maybe... If I could turn into any animal at any time, day or night. Especially nocturnal animals. That'd be something. Do you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or anything? Oh. Okay. You're allowed to do whatever you want, by the way. You don't have to have a boyfriend. You don't have to have a girlfriend. You don't have to get married. You can live in a tree house. You can live with... As many dogs and cats. about how I have ADHD. Well, sometimes I take a special medication for my ADHD, but I didn't even take it today because I was trying to sleep on the plane because sometimes my special medications keep me up, but I can't really even feel like sleeping on the plane yet either. But anyways, I have a cousin named Bob and he was trying to steal my special medications, which is actually something with really bad intentions that you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to do that, never. And my aunt and uncle were really mad at them, but they're, you know, I don't really know them that well. And they're the kind of old aunt and uncle. Because my cousin Brent's a lot older than me. I think he's even in his 20s. If you talk about him, my grandma gets really upset. because she's super sad that, you know, he has bad intentions about things and that he stole my medications and probably other things he did that I don't even know about. emergency happened and the wings fell off of the plane we would go down in the ocean and the plane would probably sink to the bottom of the entire ocean and then we'd probably just be there forever with our skeletons in it isn't that crazy <laughs> idea. I will show you that. I can't spill them all over this plane though because that could be a very serious situation. Ah, it's Porygon. He's fine. He just looks like a bunch of shapes. I don't know. Porygon's not my favorite because he reminds me of math. The trainer, Nessa. I said friggy backs. Two times sweetness, 60 HP. 
tackle for the freaking bags absorbs heat through its dorsal fan and converts the heat into ice energy. The higher the temperature, the more energy Frigabax stores. I don't really understand that. Mm -hmm. I burped in my mouth this time. Okay, Changzhou. Clay Fairy, of course. Moon watching party. Once during your turn, if the Pokemon is in the active spot for each of your benched Clay Fairy, you may search your deck for an energy, fire energy card. What kind of energy is that? And attach it to the Clay Fairy, then shuffle your deck. Clay Fairy's hair looks like a pug bite. Have you ever seen a pug dog? I've seen a bunch of them. Murkrow. Kind of classic evil one. I don't know, at least I think he's kind of evil. Electric, a palm, horsey, basic water energy, Wardom, Caitlin. Caitlin. Caitlin's such a boring name. That's my mom's name. I shouldn't say that. It's just that I love my mom so much. It's just I don't even think of, like she would be a Pokemon trainer. She just doesn't know anything about Pokemon really. Besides the basic stuff that everybody knows. Aroma Lady. This lady doesn't even have a name. Her name is just Aroma Lady. Anyways, that's some of them. <gasps> yeah, this is one of my favorites. It's just a Rocky Helmet, but it's a really pretty card. I wish there was a Pokemon on this card instead of a helmet, but... This one is my number one favorite, of course. Samazentra, not to brag, but you see this one. This is a really cool card. <laughs> Binacle. Nuzleaf. I'm pretty much so good at reading like I am because I um, I read the Pokemon cards and uh, they're kind of some of the hardest words that you can even read because they don't really go like any other words. If you found a rock that could tell the future, If you found a rock that could tell the future, would you put the rock in a safe place or would you give the rock to everybody? Because I think that if I had a rock that could tell the future, I would put it in a really safe place. But I would probably tell some people because I'm kind of bad about just talking all the time. You know, the thing about my hat, I almost spilled these everywhere. That would have been a nightmare disaster. <laughs> I didn't know you were allowed to have a dog on the plane or I would have brought my dog to the plane. The thing about my dad is that I want my slug. The thing about my dad is that he can't get his act together. Because I feel like if he got his act together, everything would be good. With me, with Monique, with my mom. We could all live in the same house, if you think about it. There's nothing that would be bad about that. It's just me and my mom and my mom and my dad will be in a giant mansion. When I think about the house, that would be the best house. It would have trampolines for the floors, for one of the floor at least, and an indoor pool. 
and sometimes for the pool you will be able to take out all of the water and put something more exciting in there like balls um, not bouncy balls I think that would hurt but the kind of balls that are usually in the ball pit but except your ball pit would be the whole pool but then you could die you could die actually probably I learned about all these things and then I learned about all these scary things like have you heard of quicksand that's when you get something to the ground but if you got something to the balls like you got something to the ground and you couldn't get up that's why everything's important for parent supervision adult supervision not everyone has parents by the way some people live with their grandma and probably other people live with other people but I don't know them personally I just know that guy the kid his name's Brayden do you know him he lives with his grandma oh he's in my class <sighs> his grandma smells kind of bad but she's really nice grandma smells really good but she's not very nice she's super bossy to my mom and that's why my mom never even wants to go hang out in my grandma's house have you heard of the channel called judge judy that's one of the only things that my grandma wants to watch is the channel of judge judy and it's so boring because there's everybody in the same, just regular everyday clothes. There's no cartoons or anything. <sighs> my mom cuts hair. Did I tell you that? Yeah, my mom does cut hair. Which is pretty cool. She doesn't just cut it too. Sometimes she turns it different colors and... Sometimes she even braids it. A lot of people though, they think that the reason I have curly hair is because my mom cuts hair, but that's not true. I don't even think that's true. I think the reason I have curly hair is because, um, I don't know the reason I have, well, I guess I've, probably something about science, I would think. For a good scary movie, it would be one about whales. Because what if there were whales that were just swimming all around you, and and you were a tiny fish? How scared would you be? I would be so scared if I was a fish this little, and there was giant whales swimming all around me. My dad's worked at a lot of different jobs. He's not like my mom where he has one job. He has a lot of different jobs. You're getting sleepy. You're going to bed. <laughs>